Hello, y'all. So, college is not what I thought it would be. As I'm filming this, it's currently October 10th, and it's almost been two-ish months since I came here. College so far has been definitely... It's been an interesting experience. I think I have this tendency to be extremely delusional about certain things until reality strikes. And for the past couple of years, I have been extremely delusional about college life. And I've been really romanticizing it almost as a way to cope with the stress of school. But now I am in college and college is stressful. So like, what am I supposed to be deluded about now? Right now, I am not where I want to be, both physically and just life-wise. And I think that's been very frustrating in my head. And it's been causing me to not be very happy at the college I'm at. I think I tend to overlook my own joy and like my own need to be happy in order to achieve practicality and to have like a practical safe option because the only reason that I chose IT is because I want to like be able to get a job after graduation and I'm like oh you know like yes I do enjoy being creative but like I don't know if I would be able to actually make a living and survive if I was chasing my dreams and pursuing my passions. Not to say that if you're going into a creative field or if you're currently in a creative field, you're not making any money and like you're gonna be miserable because obviously, no, everyone's different. And honestly, I really envy people who are able to chase their creative passions, but I have this thing where I'm like, no, I can't do that. There's no way that, that I can do that because for some reason, although they've been able to succeed, I'm probably going to fail. But the thing is, I'm not going to know if I don't at least try. I don't know if y'all have also felt this way, but I just always feel so guilty for doing the things I enjoy. Because in my head, I go, oh, why are you just sitting there and, you know, drawing or crocheting? Like, you're wasting your time when you can do something more productive that'll, I don't know, make you money or improve your performance in school. But that's a terrible mindset to have because it's like, you're gonna get burnt out if you don't prioritize your needs outside of school and like work. Like I don't even know what I want to do with my life. The only thing that I know is consistent is that I have to make money. I think it's definitely like the environment that I grew up in and that I was raised in really stressed the importance of money to me. I think I definitely should have written about all these feelings and definitely journaled about it before I just sat down and started yapping. But I think that felt good to let out. And although I'm still very uncertain about my future, I'm feeling a bit more calm now. I think college is a great time to try to actually figure yourself out and learn more about yourself. For me, since I've moved away from home and I've been living away from my family, I think I've definitely made some new discoveries. Well, I don't think these are necessarily new things about myself, they're just things that I have been trying to avoid. I think the way that I grew up definitely shaped how I view careers as a whole and I was taught that money should always be the primary goal and I learned to value practicality above what I genuinely took interest in. I've always really loved art, and I think as I've gotten older, I started viewing it as something that's not practical, quote unquote. So then I never tried to even pursue art as an option because I thought to myself, well, this is not going to guarantee that I'm going to land a job or get any money. And also as the child of an immigrant, I thought, well, my mom brought me to this country, and the least I can do to repay her is 
to find a practical job so that she doesn't have to worry about me. Honestly, I think my default state is just worried and the main reason why I chose to become an information technology major was because I worried about finding a job after college and people would always tell me that technology was the quote unquote correct field to be in. But I don't believe life should be solely defined by work and I know this is a very privileged thing for me to say and I will recognize my own privilege because I even get to attend college. Honestly, I think right now I just feel a bit discontent with the way I'm living my life so then therefore I also feel disconnected from my college. I feel like the transition from high school into college is definitely a bumpy one because you have more freedom and autonomy which can definitely be overwhelming. Like you're responsible for feeding yourself, you're responsible for getting yourself to class. If you get sick, there is not really anyone to take care of you except for yourself. Being sick in a dorm is absolutely brutal and back in October I was sick for basically the whole month and I really wish that I was still living at home during that time because it was definitely rough. But this level of independence definitely takes a while to adjust to. However, once you get into the flow of things, it feels very rewarding. It feels good to know that you are fully capable of taking care of yourself and that you can function as your own person. At the beginning of the school year, my mental health was not that great because I was struggling with taking care of myself and balancing schoolwork. But I think these struggles are essential for growing up. And honestly, it's not realistic to expect myself to have everything figured out already. Hey guys, Hillary got me Garfield. Like, I don't know how she knew I like Garfield. <laughs> oh, I love Garfield. The way I feel about Garfield is the same way that I feel about Stupid. I hope it's my Garfield bias. I hope it's, I hope it's Luffy Garfield. Wait, I hope it's this wrong. I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We just have a reservation. Oh wait! Look, I, got a, I got a Garfield photo card! Wait, no, wait. Oh my god. Wait, what? No, 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 you didn't see this. Then that means I got Luffy Garfield! Oh my god. That's adorable. How did you get the one you wanted? Because I said sweet. That's a- It's like, I know. Just hide in some- Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Smile! Yay! This one has a face too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one of these is not like the other. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Why did you run away? <laughs> There's a frog.
wanna pose? This is a video. <laughs> you don't wanna touch him? You think he got dirt? Oh, oh. You're so brave. Wait, does he have a hair? These past couple months away at college have made me realize that I'm actually not as introverted as I thought I was. I've taken the MBTI test a couple of times and each time I would get like 90% introverted but I retook it recently and it went down to 69%. I've always been really scared about meeting new people and trying to make new friends but I feel like interacting with new people in college is so different compared to high school or middle school and in my experience so far there's a greater sense of connectedness and community during college. I feel like there are more third spaces at college compared to high school and that has definitely helped with my happiness. Some examples I can think of are the lounges in the dorms, these little cafes that we have scattered around our campus and also the library. I don't really go to the lounge in my dorm hall specifically because I always go to my friends and I've met more friends through that friend and it's just so delightful making all these connections. My Little Pony was so right when they said friendship is magic because friendship is truly delightful. I mean, I think to be able to engage in meaningful relationships is one of the most beautiful aspects of life and I know I sound so dramatic right now but I truly value the communal aspect of college and since I've gone off to college I've never truly felt lonely because I see my friends every day and I'm honestly just so grateful to be a part of their lives. Right now I feel a lot more connected to my college compared to when I first got there in August and I definitely think a large part of that is because of the people that I met. <laughs> Is final season coming up, right? How do you deal with that? Great question, Sophia. Me personally, when I'm feeling a little sleepy after studying, to wake me up, I like to get in the mood with a fun song. The context for the last clip is that I co-host a radio show with my friend Sophia for our college radio and also the next couple of clips are from finals week but I am on winter break now so I did pass all my finals and I hope finals week went well for y'all. And throwback to the beginning of the video where I was feeling very concerned and confused about my choices, I definitely feel better about them now. It's probably because I don't have that much life experience overall because I'm 19 but I've always just viewed college as the defining moment of your entire life but that is such a dramatic way of thinking because college is such a small chunk of your life overall and what you choose to major in is not going to define the rest of your life generally speaking. I definitely need to pursue a creative field because I feel like for so long the only thing that I've truly enjoyed is creating whether that's drawing in my sketchbooks when I was younger or making videos. My fear of failure has been holding me back and I just always end up choosing whatever is practical, but how do I know I'm gonna fail if I don't at least put in the effort to try? I don't have my entire life figured out just yet, but I think that's the beautiful part about growing up. But that is all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching and for listening to me ramble. Okay, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>